Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 4th of 2022. Well, it is titled moons at twilight. So what do we see here? Well, we actually see five moons in this image. And of course, most obvious is our own moon out to the left. And that is Earth's large natural satellite and one of the larger moons within the solar system. Now it is in a crescent phase and you see the thin crescent that is very bright down below. That is the portion of the moon that we can see that is being directly illuminated by the sun. So that is where the sunlight reflects off the moon and to Earth. Now the rest of the moon much dimmer is actually being uh, illuminated by what we call Earth shine. Now Earth shine occurs when sunlight strikes Earth, then goes to the moon and then comes back to Earth. So it's far less intense than the direct sunlight. And you can note that here in the image by how much fainter it is compared to the little bit of the moon that is actually illuminated directly by our sun. So within the moon, we can also see the two major areas, the Maria, the darker colored areas, and the highlands of the of the moon, which are the lighter areas. The Maria are lava flooded areas, which are a little bit younger than the lighter colored highlands. Now the other moons that we see are off to the other side of the image. And the brighter object there that looks like a star is actually the planet Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. Now if we look going up and above and below it, we see a number of stars, or what appear to be stars, those are actually four of the large moons of Jupiter. And these four moons are comparable in size to our own moon. And in fact, three of them are larger than our moon and one is only a little bit smaller. So they are very comparable in size. However, they are quite diff relatively different in composition. Uh, many of them are very icy. They have a lot more icy material, whereas our moon is made primarily of rock. Now the moons are up at the top, the one above the Jupiter would be Ganymede. And then down below that we see Io, Europa and Callisto. So these are again four of the larger moons in the solar system. And including our moon, we're seeing five of the seven large moons in the solar system in one image. The other two that we're not seeing here are the large moon of Saturn Titan, and the large moon of Neptune Triton, which are the other two very large moons in the solar system. And of course, there are more than a 100 uh, smaller moons scattered around the other planets of the solar system as well. But here in our image for today, we get to see five of those moons in one image. So that was our picture of the day for February 4th of 2022. It was titled moons at twilight. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.